Good evening. Um, well, the Summit C project, or many of the even more in Welsh, um, will bring together and connect up a continuous nature-rich zone from the top of the Plymouth Massif, which is the highest area of mid Wales, right down through the wooded valleys to the Dovey Estuary and out into Cardigan Bay. Um, so that would be up to 10,000 hectares of land, but also 20, 28,000 hectares of sea. Now, it's an area that's facing um, significant losses and decline in biodiversity, like many areas of Britain. Um, the upland areas are large um, areas and, uh, of purple moor grass, impenetrable, uh, and citrus spruce plantations, so little opportunity for wildlife to thrive. Um, and indeed, for example, the area has lost uh, over 13 breeding bird species in the last 30 years. But uh, it's also an area that's suffering economic decline with low incomes, a high dependencies on subsidies, and um, insufficient income to keep uh, employment to keep young people in their communities. So this context and the context of Brexit and the uncertainty that that brings um, provides opportunities. And we see this as a really exciting opportunity to demonstrate that there can be a different future for the land and sea and one that works for both people and nature. So one where flourishing ecosystems support um, nature -based, a nature-based economy that is diversified and resilient. Um, so how will we do that? Well, it's, a, it's about bringing together multiple landowners, sea users uh, and local communities to explore and agree alternative ways of managing the land and sea. Um, it's about restoring and connecting up priority habitats such as montane scrub, uh, peat bogs, um, Atlantic oak woods, and thriving reefs out at sea. Um, it's also about a business model. So we want, based on creating an iconic destination, we want to bring in investment around nature-based um, enterprises, around tourism, and also around payment, public payments for public goods. Um, so combined, what we're hoping is that that will provide a pioneering model that can be replicated uh, around Britain and potentially elsewhere. So thank you.